Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a short video on how to install these Indian branded saddlebag rails. They're absolutely not necessary in my opinion, but boy, they sure are gonna make my bike look great. Um, the tools you're gonna need are obviously a drill and a drill bit, and I'm guessing it's gonna be the 7 30 seconds size so make sure you have one of those at least and then you're also going to need a ratchet i don't have it sitting here for some reason but um with the socket that's a 10 millimeter for these uh lock nuts and these are the parts that go inside of the saddlebag and will be sticking out to put those bolts on as far as drilling the holes on the bottom of the saddlebag are these two little triangular pits here and over here that's where you're going to drill your holes so that way these two holes here and actually this hole and this hole will line up with the ones you drill this won't be used this far right one here so as you can see whenever i put this up on here and the reel will be lifted off slightly from the saddlebag. I'm trying to get these lined up here. There. So you can kind of see those two there and the reel is kind of up off the saddlebag, which it should be. And the other two are right there. So I'm gonna start drilling. It's pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully everyone knows how to use a drill. And I'll come back in a little bit. Oh, by the way, I do want to point out that if you are, are a cheap person like me and you want to save some money, obviously these uh, Indian branded rails are extremely expensive. You're going to go over 450 bucks for the two. Um, you can go on eBay or Amazon and get a Chinese knockoff, but the problem is you're not going to get these nice clean welding points like right here and also on the back right here see how nice and smooth that is okay what you're going to get are welds that look like that okay now these welds are not going to show because they're on the bottom of the saddlebag once it gets installed so it's no need to go through the trouble of sanding them down and all that stuff but if you did what i do what i did you're going to get some really crappy chinese knockoffs Fortunately, I was able to send them back to the U.S. distributor point and get my money. They paid for the shipping, but what a hassle that was. So if you don't have the money yet, save your money and get the original because that will look really bad on a beautiful bike. And let's face it, Indians are gorgeous bikes. All right, I'm going to be back here shortly. All right, I got the uh, first post in. As you can see right there, however, my drill bit selection was incorrect. So I ended up having to use a, like I can't even read that, a one-fourth uh, size drill bit. So you're going to need to have one of those. And those posts fit nice and snug. They fit right in. There's no, they're not, well, there's a tad, you know, wiggly, but that's okay. You're going to get them in in a smaller hole, I promise you that. But once you put the bolts on, it's gonna be nice and tight. So now I'm gonna get on over to the next two. By the way, in case you're wondering, if you happen to have this particular color scheme of a 2019 Indian Springfield, uh, the original pinstriping is like a goldish yellowish color, really disgusting looking. So I had a guy paint pinstriping this black color on here for me. Looks a lot better, if you ask me. Now I know I should probably have to point this out, but you take those posts and push them through the inside. And there's the holes I just, just drilled out. I'm gonna take the other one, this right here, stick it down in those two holes and uh, go from there. And there we go. Got that part done, pretty simple. And I'm going to 
continue with the uh, the locking bolts or nuts to put those on. Nice and snug. So, just get that on. Get your lock nuts positioned. There you go. Take my elusive ratchet. Finally found it was in the in the grass. And just do your thing. I am the kind of person, as anybody should when they're doing this, who likes to not all the way snug everything until I kind of get all of them down in the same position, all the nuts or bolts or whatever. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know the proper uh, terminology sometimes. Just kind of get it where it's in position and then you can go ahead and tighten it all down. By the way, it's kind of windy out here. I'm doing my best to block the wind by putting this all next to my outdoor storage building. So these lock nuts are going on really well. I feel there ain't no way they're gonna come off unless you want them to. Now, I don't know what torque settings are for this, but I don't think it really matters because just kind of get them a little snug obviously you don't want to break the plastic so I wouldn't do them too tight but they're not going to come off so there not bad so I'm going to go do the other one. Oh, by the way I had some uh, pinstriping done as you can see a while back um, anyway I'm going to do the other bag and then I'll come back with a final video I just wanted to point out something on the uh, second bag that I'm installing. The posts sometimes are spread apart a little bit at the top, like it angles outward a little bit. So play with one and then the other. These are just slightly different. You may have to, when you go to drill one of the holes, you may have to kind of wiggle the drill a little bit to kind of make the hole a little longer in one direction. Um, so, or you can maybe, I guess, pry these together with a tool or something, but I don't want to risk messing up, messing up the, uh, the thread. So anyway, just kind of, kind of letting you know that it's not a big deal, but they will fit eventually. All right, there you go. Looks pretty sharp. By the way, if you ever are looking for some extra braking lights, I highly recommend these custom dynamic, uh, blacked out lights right here, and also the turn signals. Let me tell you something, also have this from, uh, oh heck, I forgot the name of that company. But anyway, um, you really don't notice them, but when these suckers light up, when you press the, blake, the brake or you use the turn signals, they definitely get people's attention. So one less uh, chance of getting rear-ended by some distracted, texting motorist all right if you have any questions just uh put them in the comments and i will answer them have a good one